Michigan State Police reports obtained by News 8 are shedding light on the St. Joseph County Sheriff's arrest for drunk driving last month. News 8's Byron Tollison joins us now in studio with those details. Byron? According to the Michigan State Police report, Sheriff Mark Lillywhite refused to take a field sobriety test, repeatedly insisting he was not driving the car. But from the moment officers arrived on scene, they say it was clear he was driving drunk. St. Joseph County Sheriff Mark Lillywhite was in the driver's seat and after the crash, crawled to the front passenger seat. That's according to a firefighter who says he saw that when he was first to arrive on scene. Lily White remained in the passenger seat until police arrived when he claimed he wasn't driving. A Michigan State Police report says Lily White was visibly drunk when he rear-ended a vehicle on southbound 131 south of Schoolcraft, causing it to roll over several times. The driver is way down there in the ditch. Apparently they said he's drunker than anything. No one was seriously hurt. Or keep an eye on her and make because you just never know what's gonna what could happen because it's a car rolled over. Data pulled from Lily White's SUV shows he was driving between 96 and 99 miles an hour, more than 40 miles an hour over the speed limit, and he never touched the brakes. When MSP checked out the vehicle, the speedometer was stuck at 100 miles an hour. As soon as a trooper opened Lily White's SUV, a St. Joseph County Sheriff's Department vehicle, he smelled alcohol. His speech was slurred, with most of his statements incoherent. His eyes were bloodshot, and he struggled to get out of the vehicle. Witnesses also thought he was drunk. He couldn't even stand up and talk. So obviously he was, it appears he was intoxicated. While Lily White insisted he wasn't driving, he also refused to say who might have been in his car. In fact, police say he didn't give any information about the crash. But all three witnesses told police Lily White was the only one in the vehicle. Some said it had no headlights on. I don't understand lights. There's no headlights Police could not verify if that was true. Troopers found a loaded pistol in the vehicle, as well as another pistol, rifle, and ammunition. The sheriff was arrested for drunk driving and having a weapon while under the influence. He was taken to the hospital to have his blood drawn, then jail. He was released later that day. Blood test results have not come back yet. Police later found that Lily White was not wearing a seatbelt. MSP says the only airbag that went off was on the driver's side. Back to you.